Hi guys, we are going to continue today with finding the area of different polygons and today specifically we are going to learn how to find the area of a parallelogram. So first of all, what is a parallelogram? This right here is a parallelogram. It's a parallelogram because, and now here's the definition of a parallelogram, it is a four-sided figure with opposite congruent parallel sides. What? That just means that the sides that are opposite each other are parallel and they're the same length. So like these would both have one tick mark, these would both have two tick marks. Um, and there's actually an animation here that I'm going to show you that really helps to see how a parallelogram works. And so now as you can see in this, a parallelogram, if you cut off that triangle part of it and you slide it over to the other side, it makes a perfect rectangle. So a parallelogram and a rectangle are really similar. Basically a parallelogram is a slanted rectangle, which means to find the area of a rectangle of a parallelogram, it's almost the same thing as finding the area of a rectangle. We're going to multiply basically the length times the width. But because it's slanted, we call it base and height. So let's go back here. Copy this down, please. The area of a parallelogram is base times height. And we're going to practice that today. So in this parallelogram that I gave you, the base would be this part, the red. This would be your base. And now the height is the same thing as um, triangles. It's got to be going straight up from the bottom. This would be the height. And sometimes, just like we saw with um, triangles, the height is actually written out here on the side. Um, so it depends on where they put it, but it's never the slanty line. That's not the height. It's got to be a straight line up. Okay, so let's practice. Please take out your notebooks. Make sure you copy down these next few examples. So we want to find the area of each parallelogram. Remember, area is just the base times the height. So here, let's figure out what the base and the height is. On this parallelogram, there's no units, but it's on a grid, so I can count that the base is one, two, three, four units. That's my base four units, and the height, well, I got to count straight up, so the base is on this line here, so if I start from where I am on the bottom and I count straight up, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units is my height, so my area is four times seven, so my area is 28 units squared units squared and that's it that's the area of the parallelogram uh, for number two over here area is going to be base times height well my base for this one is one two three and my height is going to be one two three four five six seven So, 7 times 3, my area is 21 units squared. Base times height, that's it. Now let's look at an example, let's look at an example that has um, actual units written in. Um, I'd like for you to try this by yourself actually real quick. Try to find the area of this parallelogram here. When you are done, click play and check your answer. Okay, so now hopefully you've done this yourself. And we know area is base times height. So first let's figure out what the base is. In this parallelogram, my base is going to be this line right here, 21. That's my base, so area is going to be base times. And now the height. Is the height 13 or is it 12? It's 12. Remember, the height goes straight up not slanty, so be careful. We're doing 21 times 12 here. I'm going to switch over to typing. So in this problem, 
we do 21 times 12, and we get that the area is 252 square centimeters. And that's it. Okay, so let's just do two more, a little bit more challenge problems. Um, so for both of these parallelograms, I'm already going to give you the area. You are, you are being told the area here. You are going to use that and plug it into the formula to find the height of the parallelogram and down in this one to find the base of the parallelogram. Just like we did when we um, used the triangle formula to find the base of the height. So pause the video, give it a try. When you're done, you can click play to check your answers. Okay, so let's focus on this one first. The area of the parallelogram is 38.5 square inches. I want to find the height. So we know that the area formula is base times height. Let's plug in what we know. The, uh, the area, we're told the area, it's 38.5. And that equals the base, which we're told is 5 inches. And the height is what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out the height here. That would be like this dotted line. That's what we want to know. So the height, we don't know yet. We'll just keep it h. Now, this one-step equation. 38.5 equals 5h. How do we solve for h? We're going to use the inverse operation and we will divide. So you're going to do 38.5 divided by 5 and hopefully you got the answer 7.7. .7. So 7.7 .7 inches is the height. And of course you can go back and double check your answer. By making sure that when you multiply the base and the height, when you do 5 times 7.7, .7, make sure that equals 38.5. And it does. So we are good. We double checked. All right, and then for the second one, the area of this parallelogram is 63 square centimeters you need to find the base of the parallelogram. So we know our formula, and we're just gonna plug in what we know. Well, the area, let's go plug that in down here, is 63, hey, whoa, 63, and we don't know the base yet, so we'll just call it B. But the height we do know, it's 4.2 centimeters times 4.2. This is my multiplication dot. Well, this is a one-step equation again. And if you like to rewrite it like this, 63 equals 4.2b, the way that it's supposed to be written when we have a, an equation, that's fine. But either way, we're going to be doing the same thing. In order to solve this, we need to use inverse operations. So if 63 equals 4.2 times b, we're going to divide 63 divided by 4.2 to figure out what our base is. So when we do 63 divided by 4.2, you should get the answer 15. So the base is 15 centimeters long. And then, of course, you can double check your answer by multiplying 15 times 4.2, base times height, and then that should give you the area, which is 63. And it does, so we know we did it correctly. That's it. That's how you find the area of a parallelogram. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.